Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my office. I am looking out at a cloudy sky. It's super hot. High temps again in the upper 90s with heat indexes in 109-110 range. But it looks like there might be a storm trying to come this way. So you may hear some thunder in a little bit. And I'm here in my office. I have my Jane's Agenda Classic Size Planner. This is the new Fall Leaf colorway in the wraparound cover. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's feeling like just the fresh start that I needed. It's getting me thinking about fall and getting excited for some cooler weather and fall temps and fall leaves changing. And I'm also feeling a little more um, put together and kind of organized with my wraparound cover kind of holding everything in place. And I also have the new goodies that came in the September Deluxe subscription box from Jane's Agenda so we can finish setting up my planner for September. I hope you can grab your planner if you need to do a little more setup and prep or get started on getting ready for September. I'd love for you to join along. So grab something comfy and cozy to drink and we'll get started planning in just a minute. Stay tuned for that and welcome to my office. Welcome back to my home. I'm so glad you're joining me today. So as I mentioned, I have the new wraparound cover. Let's go ahead and just dive right in. I have my whole little stack of all the goodies that came in the September Deluxe subscription box. And I think I have settled on what cover I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this cover that was, I think this was the January cover from 23. This is the one that um, I had just kind of popped on there for something a little different before I got my September box in. And, oh, and I just remembered, I also have a box to unbox with you of all the items I got in the anniversary sale. So I will have a time code listed down below if you wanna jump to the end and see that. But first, let's go ahead and finish this planner setup. So I have the cover that came in the September box. I'm loving it. This is just exactly how I'm feeling. Kind of like I need to really step up my game as a businesswoman and an entrepreneur in the month of September. I kind of mentioned in my last video that I have recently stepped down from one of the jobs I held, one of the little side jobs, and it ended up being a little more than I had anticipated when I took the job. So I'm feeling like my time is a little more balanced now and I'm able to keep my family a priority. I really enjoyed that job, but it just was, it was time for someone else who has a different phase of life and different time schedule and situation to be able to take over. So she and I still work together quite a bit. I'm still excited for all the good things coming with that organization, but it also feels good that I can focus where I need to for my family and my own personal businesses and my home and all of the things. I did add some refills for my friction pen because the other day I just wanted to grab my planner and head to work and I was getting worried a few of my um, colors in my four-way friction pen were getting low so I just threw that in there. Okay so these were the other dashboard options. They were all gorgeous. I really kind of played around with them after I did that unboxing video and I kept trying to decide what I was going to do and which one I was going to go with. This is the back side of that one, which I also liked. But in the end, I went with the kind of purple colorway because for me, the month of September, I'm going to be decorating with more purples. And this is the back of this cover, but I'm not going to be using that since I have the wraparound cover. I'm just going to leave that fall leaf one in that I had from before. So I had this one from one of the other um, sub boxes and that does, it's actually the front cover. So it does not have the um, elastic ribbon on it. So it just slides in and out of there a little more easily. Okay. Then I think I want, let me make sure you're still, still in the picture. Okay. So I think I want something like that. I was actually looking for something to go there. And, ooh, and this one. Oh my gosh, Jane, I love it. I love how you can layer these in. So pretty. And 
I don't know if I have a spot for this one yet, but that's okay. And these beautiful um, bookmarks are also on here. I don't know that I have a spot for those just yet either. So I'm just going to keep those on the little card. But I mean, I guess I could put one here if I just felt like I wanted to hold that little corner down, but it's almost a little too big. And I don't know that I want it to be pressing on this cover. So I think I'll leave it like that. All right. I have, let's see, is there anything else? I have the bookmark. So this was the, the page finder that came in the box. Um, and I don't know if I need that or not. So I'm just gonna set that aside for a minute. Okay, now, and I also have the little memorandum pad. I actually split it in half and took one half to work. And then I'm leaving this half here at home. And I just stuck, since it was the side that had the sticky, I just stuck it to the September card, which gosh, that is pretty, but I like the way this is looking. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Now I have these daily inserts and I am still, um, not exactly sure how I'm going to use them, but I am excited to start using them. There's been several good comments in the last video where I unboxed everything. A couple more people were throwing out some really great ideas. Somebody mentioned that they have the Jane's Agenda monthly planner pages where the entire month is on one page on the left. And so she was saying she was really excited that these were one-sided daily pages because then she can have her whole month at a glance on the left and then the daily page on the right, which I thought that was brilliant too. I just feel like this whole design is a really interesting and different and fun way to look at my planner. So I think what I'm going to do, since this Sunday is the first, I'm going to pop this one in here. I'm really excited to start playing around with this layout. This is the new Daily 15 um, insert pack. I couldn't think of what to call these, inserts. This is September, which is a sample pack that came in the September Deluxe subscription box. I believe starting in October, you'll be, get, be able to order these on the Jane's Agenda website. And I think it's a quarter at a time, might be a month at a time. Don't I don't remember what Jane said, but I'll have my affiliate link down below in the description box. So you can kind of keep an eye on when those get launched. And we already did the basic setup here. And I started to try to set up the rest of these pages and then I realized I'm not even sure what page is going to be here next. So as I'm talking with you, I want to kind of flip through this. So I was envisioning it last night and thinking, what if for the first week I just try putting in the days like in between for the weekly view. Now I have other weekly view inserts from Jane's Agenda. And I know there's some that have everything on the left and then different things on the right. So I may end up getting those out. For right now, I'm kind of used to this dashboard here on the left. So, and I thought, you know, even if I just keep kind of plugging in things like this on this overview page, like putting my schedule in, and then if I don't end up using these daily pages, that's fine. I can just redate them. You know, the ones I don't use, I'll just redate and use another time. But I think I'm gonna try this where I put in the ones that fall within that date range. So this will be the fifth through the eighth that's gonna go in here. And we're just gonna go through, I don't know if I should do the whole month or I kinda think I want to. I think I'm just gonna do the whole month like that. Five, six, seven, eight, and you know, I can always adjust as I go along. I might try it this first week and decide I don't really like having this weekly spread in here as well as these daily spreads. I might take some of them out. I might go in my stash and find a different weekly spread to try. So we shall see. But I feel like this, with everything I have, that I want to try to get done in September. I just feel like these daily pages are going to give me more space and more places to plan and think. And even just having the dot grid on the back, it's more places to take notes. So we shall see. Only way to know is to try. And I'm glad that I have this subscription box for that reason that 
kind of get these sneak peeks and these smaller sample packs because it does let me just try things out without buying like a whole quarter if I decide this just really isn't the right insert for me. Okay. And the other thing I thought is I could even potentially take these daily pages out. Like let's say sometimes at work, my desk gets pretty full of all the other things I'm working on. So what if I just wanna take my daily page, you know, this one page out and have that sitting over to the side on my desk and still kind of keep an eye on my schedule and my to-do list for the day. Um, but not have my entire planner out. And then, you know, at the end of the day, I just pull my planner out, pop it back in and be on my merry way. So that's another thought I had. There's just, I think a lot of flexibility with this design. So 30th is going to fall in October, it looks like, Sunday. And yes, okay, so we're just gonna set this right here. That's Monday the 30th. Okay. Okay. The other thing I wanted to see was how much is this going to fill up my planner? I was actually feeling like my discs were a little too loose and I could potentially go down a size, but I thought, let's see what it looks like to put that entire month in there. Now, do I want to carry all that around? I'm not sure. And I may just pull those daily pages back out again. But again, I just wanted to try. The only way to know is to kind of experiment. Okay, then I have these meeting notes, projects, and notes. Meetings, projects, and notes. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to put all of them in my planner or just a few of each? And then a few in my Jordan Essentials planner. So I actually don't want the notes. Wait, do I want it in here? I have reference and I have blank. So I don't think I need that notes tab. Um, and then I have the meetings tab. So I think what I'm gonna do is at the very back where I have my section of blank um, pages. So like this, these are just random little ones I keep in here. I'm trying to remember what that is. I think that's notes from the Jordan Essentials training. So these are some old project inserts that Jane's Agenda had. So you can see that's a smaller size. I think this was a personal size or an A5 size. So I think we are just going to, for now, put in this meetings tab. And that way I can just pull out the meetings insert when I need it don't know that I want all of these so I think I am going to split it and I'll do about half in my Jordan Essentials planner and half here and I think I'm actually going to take this cover sheet out too I don't need that and then let's do a few of the projects inserts And I'm actually going to go ahead and pop in these small ones that I have just in case I decide I want like a little projects page. Oh, and as you can see, these were three ring punch. So I think I got these because I just wanted to try them out, but they were actually punched for three ring. And I just punched them with the disc punch and that way I could use them in my planner. So that's a little tip you can sometimes try things that aren't punched if you have a punch at home then just repunch them so let's do about half there okay so now <laughs> now let's see if she'll close and then this notes tab I think I'm going to use in my other planner it closes it's on the snug side, so that is pretty full. So, and it's pretty heavy, that did add a little bit more weight. So I think I am just gonna decide right now, make that executive decision. Let's just do one week at a time of the daily pages and try that out. So the first week is going to go until the 7th. So I'll leave 
five, six, seven, well, to the eighth. I'll leave that in there and just pop these back out. No big deal. I think I'll start from the back. Six. I feel like I'm, okay, that stays. There we go. Okay, so I have this one. So you'll have to let me know if you got the September deluxe subscription box, what are you thinking you're gonna do? Are you gonna put all the pages in your planner now? Are you gonna do like I have decided to do where I'm just gonna keep one week at a time so my planner's not so heavy? Are you thinking you're even gonna try them or is that a daily that you just don't need? Or do you have other ideas on how to use them? Because I would love to hear thoughts and ideas and it's just fun to hear what people are thinking. So this actually might work good because I'll still have these overview pages where when I'm on the go, I can jot down notes and schedule appointments. But when the week comes, if I wanna plan out my detailed to-do list and my detailed schedule, then I'll have just those daily pages for that week that I can insert. Okay, that already actually feels good size-wise, closes easier, and it's still chunky, but it still fits in that new green wrap. So that's awesome. I feel like I've got that all taken care of. Let me set this aside for a second. We're going to get my archive planner so what i've been doing is keeping the upcoming inserts at the back this is my 2024 archive planner and let's see i have kind of reflection um there we go that's what i'm looking for is all of that okay so we'll put daily 14 so the daily 14 is what i have been using and where's my little page? Okay, so these are daily 15s that we're gonna put here. And the daily 14 is the one that is seven days on two sheets of paper, four pages. Okay, so there's that in there. That way those will be easy for me to find next week or when I'm setting up. Then I have my new, so this is my Jordan Essentials planner that I put together. So this is the August cover, which works well because we have green and botanical <laughs> ingredients. Green is the theme color and then botanical ingredients. So I just wanted to add at the very back this little notes tab and that way so I already have like some blank things back here so let's pop this back here and I can go ahead and do the project planner insert pages and the notes pages and I think before I stick them in there I'm going to just tab them so here we go. So this is what I do a lot of times with my um, planner pages is I like to do them on the bottom. So we have meeting notes for one. Ooh, it looks like the UPS man is pulling up and I think he's delivering some label refills for my brother label maker. So I put an S meetings. So I'll have that one labeled, and then this is going to be project. Yep, ding dong, there he is, dropping off that order. Okay, that way I can easily find these at the back. And while I have my tabber thing and while I have these sticky tabs out, I'm actually going to kind of 
kind of organize my notes back here a little bit. So I'll have meetings, I'll have projects. Go ahead and move that over a little bit. And then to make it easier for me to find things, okay, this is, hmm, trying to remember if this is the flex design, this is the trifocus, these are the grid, these are the dot. I'm pretty sure this is the flex note. Just a smidge. Yesterday we got up to 102 degrees and it was a tie for the record high with the same uh, date. Is that what it was? Same date in 1881 we had also gotten up to 102 degrees. So we didn't break the record, but we tied it from that long ago, which is kind of crazy. Slide it over just a little. That looks good. All right, and then this is the trifocus, I think that's called. I might just be making up names at this point. <laughs> I could go look at my, um, basket where I keep everything and look at the actual packaging to see what it's called, but that's okay. It's not really that big a deal. It'll just help me find things when I'm wanting to grab a blank piece of paper. And then these are dot grid. Now I kind of think I need to maybe upgrade to some bigger discs, which is why I got the items I did in the anniversary sale. So we'll do that here in a second. So the dot grid, and you do have to use some sort of oil-based marker on these um, plastic stickies. So this is the uni pin which is an oil-based marker so or oil-based pen so that works on there and we'll do one more for the grid notes I've actually been liking this grid paper from Jane's agenda I didn't know I would but it seems like I gravitate to it sometimes where I want a little more structure than what the dot grid gives for whatever reason Okay, so now that is everything set up in my Jordan Essentials planner. I'm definitely thinking it's time for some bigger discs and I'm ready for some metal discs that are gonna slide just a little better. For some reason, these plastic ones, and I have seen people say they do this to them and that kind of breaks them in and they slide better, but it just seems like these have never been all that great. So let me grab the box and we'll unbox that next. Okay, so this is my order that came from the anniversary sale. So I got this on, is that right? I got this on Tuesday the 27th and I placed my order when the sale went live at noon Pacific on the 22nd on last Thursday. So they were hustling at Jane's agenda to get these out so fast, but all right, and I didn't didn't even break the seal. I thought we could open these together today. So this is everything I got. Oh, set the box aside. So I have a little thank you card. Thank you for shopping during our anniversary event. So that's that. I like using those little blank cards around my office just for note paper. So I snagged quite a few of the scratch and dent metal discs because I prefer the metal. I love the gold color and there were gold in lots of sizes and I just thought, why not? I don't mind a little scratch and dent and I like to save money. So that's that. I do actually wanna see right off the bat. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is a one inch, one and a quarter maybe? Does that look like it's a little bit smaller than my clear?
clear plastic ones. So I'm thinking if I go up to these, that should give me a little more room and it'll be um, metal, so it should work better. So let's take a look at these and just, let me set this stuff aside for a minute. I just kind of want to see, we'll start with the smallest ones. Like what makes these scratch and dents is kind of what I wanted to see. So nothing major is even jumping out at me. I mean, there's a tiny line there, but I'm never going to see that. I feel like they're quality control must just be out of this world because I don't even see why these would be a scratch and dent. Maybe that there's like a few spots where there's a little bit of a mark, but it's on the flat part of the disc, which you're never going to see. And then when I look at them this way, again, I don't see anything jumping out at me that's saying, I don't know, maybe there's a little mark there. I'll take it. Any way I can get some great discs like this at a little bit of a discount is phenomenal. So I'll take that. Same thing. We'll just take a quick peek at each of these. Oof, sorry, that was super loud. So these are, this one was, let me pull one out so you can see. So this is a one inch disc. Let's kind of do a comparison on size. So there's a one inch. This is the one and a half inch which I'm really glad I got these. I feel like this is a good size. Same thing, like, okay, I see a teeny tiny ding or scratch right there. So I guess it's just little bitty things like that, but boy, those are just, sorry, unreal how, and maybe the color's a little different because I think these are all technically gold, but it looks like the gold is a little different, but that's okay. I'm, I, like I said, I'm really, fine with a little imperfection if it means I get some extra <laughs> metal discs in gold. So these are two inch. So same thing, like there's a little bit of something there I can see. But when it's like this and on my planner, I don't know that that's going to be an issue. So and again, the color. So those three gold have a little bit different color across all of them. And as far as I know, they were all just gold. So maybe it's even just the imperfections in the color batching too. But if I wasn't comparing one to the other, I don't know that I would even know that. So there's one, one and a half and two inch in the gold discs. Then this was the freebie. So we got the uh, metal ruler, which I have one of these. I feel like the one I have is bigger than this. So I'm actually kind of happy to have this one that's a little bit smaller. Because the one I had before, which I'm trying to remember if it's in my desk drawer, um, it's good, but it was a little harder to carry around. Let's see if I can even find it now because it was so big. I must have stashed it in a really good place because I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's in a sacred safety, it's in a safe spot. Do you ever put things in safe spots and then you can't find them back again? That's pretty much how I operate most of the time. So wait, oh, I found it. Okay, I guess it is the same size. That's the one I had before, same size. So you can see that's how my old one held up to wear and tear and being thrown in and out of my bag. Oh, the, the logo is different. So they have updated the logo, but it is essentially the same size. Okay, cool. Well, that's a pretty nice one. Now I have one for home and one for work. I'll take that. Nothing like a good freebie, right? Then this was the other freebie. Uh, let's see, I think this was if you had $100 or more and this was for everybody. This was like the doorbuster freebie that anybody who placed an order got. So let's see that which is cute. So it's a little magnetic thing. Again, I might take this to work actually and just have like that little quick thing up at my desk or looking around in my office to see if there's a good spot or I might just hang it on my little desk organizer. Hmm, thinking on that. No, I don't know for sure. All right, then I got the Master Plan 365 Course 6. This was something else that I had already planned on grabbing, but I was able to get it with a discount, so that's always good. 
So if you're following along, Master Plan 365 is the new free course Jane is running. So she does a weekly video on YouTube. And um, then if you wanna buy the inserts, you can, but you don't have to. Those are just extra. So this is my Master Plan 365 notebook. And this was another spot where I felt like I'm gonna be needing some bigger discs soon. So I, um, I, don't, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna use these gold ones in my Jordan Essentials Planner. And then let's see, would this be? Oh yeah, this would actually be a little bit more. I think these are three quarter inch discs. So even just going up to those one inch discs would give me a little more room. So let's go to month six. And what I've been doing is just popping this at the back and that way it's just an extra note page if I need it. And that way I will be ready for next month. But like I mentioned, you can just do the course for free where you just watch the videos and take notes in a notebook. You don't have to do the extra um, inserts, but I have been enjoying them. There's a lot of good information in there. She's got like worksheets and areas to answer questions that are related to the training. So I feel like it's been a good one to have. And here we have, I guess I shouldn't have put those away necessarily. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Actually, let me flip through them a minute too. I'll just leave my planer open like this so you can see it. So we've got the quote and with each one, where am I, seven. So she'll have like an intro page. She breaks down the different weeks and talks about the book for that month. Again, it's just recommended reading. You don't have to concepts and then there's a reflection area where you can take notes and it just goes along for each of the weeks there's reading assignments so she breaks the book down and is that the last yeah and then there's the last page so i will um, just leave this off to the side for now so we can look at that when we're all done all right then the quick glance calendar i grabbed this for uh, my Jordan Essentials Planner because I really wanted to have something that was right at the front. Let me see. i got all my stacks of planners now. It's just helpful when I'm looking out, like planning the next 90 days to have this. And what I did was I got 2024, so it's third quarter and fourth quarter of 2024, and then it goes right into 2025, first, second, third and fourth quarter. So then I can just keep right on planning as I go through. I love that there's a 2024 task list at the back and then we have for the two remaining quarters and then we have one for 2025 and then the very back is 2026. So this will be a really nice thing to have at the front of my planner so that I'm trying to remember what do I have at the front here. Okay. So there's 2024 at a glance, but it's a Monday start. And I'm pretty sure, yes, I actually prefer a Sunday start. So this way I will have, well, I don't need the cover page. Let's take that out. This way I'll have Sunday start calendars, which is what I prefer. And this one I can just take out. Okay, so now that's all set in there. And it does have the holidays on the back too, which maybe I will, um, I don't know if I wanna keep that in, maybe I will keep that at the very back just because of the holidays. Now that I'm looking at that, that might be good when I'm doing a little bit of quick planning to have those holiday pages there. So we'll tuck it back in here. For now, I may decide to take that back out, but yeah, now this planner is too full. <laughs> so the next phase will be me setting up uh, or transferring all this stuff over to a new, uh, a new set of discs. I think we're gonna break in those one inch discs right off the bat. And then I got the monthly 46, and I'm trying to remember what this is and why I got it. I think this was also for my Jordan Essentials notebook. I wanted to have a planner. Um, 
So it also comes with it, but, and it is Sunday start. Oh, good. So I get basically two sets of those. I didn't even realize that. Then, okay, July. Oh, yes. I, so I was wanting this just to track all of my um, specials, all of the tasks, all of the social media. So this, I got all the way through December of next year. So that way I am all set. So that's good to know. I forgot that the monthly calendar insert pages already comes with that quick glance at the front, but that's fine. Now I have two sets of the quick glance, so I could put one in my regular planner and then, um, then I'll have this one that'll just stay together in my Jordan Essentials Planner, which I know this won't fit on there. So that is everything that I got in my, and I'll just tuck this here so you can see. I got the six month master plan, my freebies, my discs in those three sizes, and really kind of upped my collection of supplies. And there were a lot of things I was needing and wanting to get set up in my new planner systems as I go into uh, the month of September. So I hope that was helpful for you to see not only my haul and what I got from the anniversary sale, and I'd love to hear in the comments down below, what did you get from the anniversary sale? But also then getting my planner all set up for September. So now I feel good that I've got those daily pages in there and my September planner pages are all set and ready to go in my new wraparound cover and that feels really good too. So thanks again for joining me. I hope that was fun for you to get to see everything I had going on with the anniversary sale. Can't do that without setting it down. I hope you have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below. Let me know how you are wrapping up the month of August and preparing for the start of September. Hopefully you have some good rest and relaxation coming with Labor Day if you're in the U.S. And other than that, have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.